There is a House bill in Pennsylvania, 1309, that would close the loopholes on the smoking ban for public indoor places, uh, workplaces. I really hope that passes. I, I hope that passes before eight months. Because if it doesn't pass before the eight months, it's still very, very, very likely that I'll be moving. If it does pass, if it does pass, you know, I might stay here quite a bit longer. But as long as all the bars are, you know, as long as all the bars that are open past 11 anyway, you know, as long as all the bars that are actual bars, that are actual taverns, places for people to hang out and socialize and do karaoke and things like that, as long as those have smoking in them, I'm not going to them. Uh, I've made it clear before that I, I really hate cigarettes. And if it means that I don't have a life as a result of that, well, that's, that's just the way it is. Some people will still argue for, well, you know, it should be up to the business. Well, businesses generally don't do that on their own accord. Now, I still think there could be something like a, a ventilation standard that could be started, and it'd probably be kind of expensive, but if they want to have a smoking section, they, can, they could come to a certain ventilation standard, and I could go with that. I, I could deal with that, but uh, it's, you know... It's a lot of red tape. It's a lot of stuff for a bar to go through, and it just seems easier to just not to just not have the smoking in those places. Um, you can call it whiny all you want, but I refuse to be around cigarettes. Just utterly refuse. I've made a number of videos about cigarettes about how I can't stand how so many smokers will just hang out at the, the entrance to a grocery store or, or some other business that is something that people need to go to and these smokers just puff away standing right in the fucking doorway of, of a business. They're assholes. That isn't to reflect on all smokers, but there's enough of them that you almost always find it. Here in Shemokin, everyone seems to be smoking. It just seems really popular here. It seems like I'd say, you know, 70% of the population here smokes. Um, now, I should have known this coming into here, but I thought that some of the places that were pretty close by would be a lot closer than they are. But the way the roads are out here, you know, oh, let's let's drive for an hour and a half. You know, I think there might be one place that's forty-five minutes away. But uh, yeah, I I hope thirteen oh nine passes. It seems to have support from the public. I'll leave a link to a uh, uh, an article about it, and you can look for yourself. About two-thirds of people seem to support the idea of it. I'd be very happy. I'd love to be able to make a go of this place. I would. And if that kind of bill goes through and it's turned into law, I, you know, I'll probably stay here quite a bit longer. Crossing my fingers, you know. <laughs>